Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would see what is agentic rag. Like we have seen rag in my previous videos, but rag is nothing but where we have some documents which we embed it using some kind of embeddings. It can be open AI embedding or some hugging face embeddings and whatever you want, what kind of embedding you want, you can use that embeddings and embed them and store in the vector database. And we ask some questions and that query will also be embedded and it tries to find the similar results and based on that similar result, we'll get the output from the database. I mean the vector database. And then uh, that result is sent to the LLM and asked to summarize. So this is what the high level rag is, which works very much fine. Similarly, we have another thing called agentic rag where we do the rag only, but we use an LLM as an agent to verify the output which we got from the vector DB and confirm whether the output is related to our query or not. If not, then we ask the LLM to rephrase the query and fetch again from the vector database and again verify. So this kind of verification is done instead of human, it is done by the agent, which is nothing but an LLM. So let's see how we can do that using Lang graph. So I'm using open API key. So I've set it in an environment available. So I've imported the required libraries. That's it. So I'm, I'm just using a web URL to parse it. So the, these are the two web URLs, which taught us how to stay happy in life, which has some pointers on how to stay happy in life. That's it. These two URLs. I'm using these URLs content for the rag. So I'm just reading it using web based loader. That's it. URI and I'm just splitting it using recursive character text splitter. If you want more about these things, then you can watch my lang chain tutorials where I've explained everything about how to use web based loader, how to use recursive character text splitter and how to split them, what are the changes and everything. And this we are just splitting those and after splitting those we are storing in the vector DB. So here I'm using the Chroma local storage. That's it. And for embedding, I'm using OpenAI embeddings. That's it. And now, so this retriever is either passed or it is used in the further process. So I am just creating a retrieval tool here. We have a method called create retrieval tool in Lang graph. So we need to pass the retriever object and then what is the name and giving some explanation about uh, the data we have underneath. That's it. So this retrieval tool acts like a tool here. That's it. So in Lang graph, we know that we create a state and that state stores the information we want right now. Here, I, I just want to store the messages alone. So I've created a class and the class has a variable called messages. And this method add messages will just append the messages at every point in our graph, like every stage in our flowchart or every point in time, whatever the new message is generated, like it can be human message or a message or tool message, everything it gets appended for that. We have used this class. So now we have a method called grade documents. So what does this method does? It just simply grades whether the document retrieved from the retriever for our query is meaningful to the question we have asked or not. That's it. So I'm using the pydantic way to rate that. So I have a variable called binary score and I'm using pydantic way. Uh, the reason why I'm using pydantic way is because here we can explain the purpose of everything, like explain the purpose of this class, explain the purpose of this field and everything. So I'm using the pydantic way here. So this binary score variable will store whether the output which we got or the graded output which we got from the retriever is correct or reasonable to the question or not. That's it. So I'm using a model here. That's it. So I'm binding this grade to the LLM. That's it. So instead of a model, every time we use LLM with tool, that's it. We have a prompt. So here we are just creating a prompt. That's it. Explaining that you are a grader and all giving some kind of uh, hint uh, to this uh, um, LLM. That's it on how it has to be. Uh, that's the purpose of the prompt everywhere. So we are just creating a chain with the prompt and the LLM. That's it. So we are reading the messages from the state here. So stating nothing but the argument which is passed to this method and this method is kind of a tool or a node. If you want more details on what is node and all, you can watch my previous Langchain tutorials. I've explained what is node, what is edge and all in my first Langchain video or a Lang graph video. That's it. So from state, we are just reading the messages. So what can we read from the state? What, what does the state store? So uh, what are all the variables which we have declared inside this class can be accessed to the state? That's it. So we are reading the message. So the last message we are reading and we are and the first message will be the question because that's what that's how the flow charts, right? So first we ask a question to the LLM or we ask, ask a question to the workflow. So that will be the question. The first one last message will be the whether it can be a response or a tool response, whatever we have. So we are just passing those two information, the question and the content 
to this chain and we are just to this and assigning that to a variable and here we are just fetching the binary score because we are using the pydantic way so the binary score will just return yes or no so in case if the score is yes then we are returning generate uh, in case if the score is no we are good returning rewrite so what is this generate and rewrite these are nothing but the nodes again so generate is an another node which i will show you now which will summarize the context which we got from the retriever. So rewrite is an another node using the LLM, it rephrases the question again. So it will, so the purpose of this method is to just grade whether the question and the answer is reasonable or not. So the answer is reasonable to that question or not is being decided by this grade document method. So it acts like a node for us. I'll show you down. So we have an another method called agent inside which we are just triggering the uh, LLM based on the tools we have. Tools are nothing but the retriever. See, this tool is nothing but retriever. This is an another method, agent, that's it. And we have rewrite. As we saw above, in case if the grader has decided to rewrite, that means it says like the question and answer is not in sync. I mean, in case if this LLM which we have used here is thinking like the question and answer is not sync, then it has to go to a rewrite node. So inside the rewrite, we are just rephrasing the question. So how are we rephrasing the question? Just by giving the prompt, that's it. Look at the input and try to reason about the underlying semantic intent meaning. Here is the initial question, formulate an improvised question. That's what we said, that's it. So this message is passed to the model and we'll get the rephrased question, that's it. And we saw above, one is rewrite and another is generate. So generate will just summarize the context we have. So we are just reading all the messages from the state as I said, state is nothing, using the state variable, we can access the fields declared in our graph, which is nothing but this agent state uh, class. That's it. So it takes both the questions, which is the our first message and the last message is the response. And then we are uh, appending it into a single string. And then we are just passing it to the uh, chain. That's it. Here we have created a chain with the prompt whatever we have, we are using, sorry, we, we are, we are getting the prompt from the hub and then we are creating a chain out of it and we are invoking it with the dogs. I mean the string, which we have got it from here and with the question. So it summarizes the output. So this generate is just to summarize the output. If you see the updated state with the rephrased question, that's it. So now we are creating the workflow. So we have created all the nodes above and now we have to create the workflow or the linkage or a flow graph, whatever we call. So for that class, we have created an object and we have to add nodes as well as edges and the conditional edges, everything to here. Node is nothing but a method we can call a tool. We can call whatever we want in the nodes and edges is nothing but the connection between one node to the another node. So if you see the graph agent is one node, retrieve is one node, uh, rewrite is one node. So the connection between retrieve and rewrite is called edge on what basis they born is to connect is being defined inside this conditional edge. So let's see, I have more clearly explained in my first Lang graph tutorial. Anyhow, for, uh, I'm creating a first node with the agent and the second node as a retrieve. Retrieve will use this tool. The tool is called retrieval tool. That's it. And the third node is rewrite. So we, I am creating all the nodes. The fourth node is generate. So now I need to link those nodes. How do I link using the add edge method? So workflow dot add edge. The first should be start, then go to the agent from agent you can either go to the retrieve or to the end. So how do I go to the retrieve or end using this tool conditions method? So this is from the line graph only or from a line chain. So it checks whether the very last state is end or not. If it is an end, it goes to the end or else it directly sends to the retrieve. This is a, not a custom method. It's from line graph only. It just validates what is the last message. And if it is an end, go to the end or else to the retrieve whatever we have mentioned, that's it. So from agent to retrieve, we have decided here. So agent to retrieve, we have decided. Now we need to do from retrieve to rewrite or retrieve to generate. How do we generate and whether to go to retrieve to rewrite or re generate is being done based on this grade documents. So now I'm creating another conditional edge where we got it to the retriever in case if it comes to, if it goes to the end, the done, we are done and dusted. We don't need to do anything. If you see here, if directly goes from agent to end, we don't need to do anything. But in case if it goes from to the retriever, what should be the next? So in retriever, we have a method called grade documents, which we have seen above. 
so it grades whether the question and the answer are in sync if it see if it is yes it goes to generate or else it goes to rewrite we know like inside rewrite we have a refresh the question and inside generate we are just summarizing the output that's it that's what is being done inside this generate we are just summarizing the output that's what will be there in this prompt if you check this prompt rlm slash dragged hyphen prompt it will ask to just summarize that's it so that's how we we go from retrieve to generate or rewrite so after generate you can go to the end in case if it's a re rewrite we are saying again go to the end no need of any condition directly go to the end we are saying if you are if you have some condition to be applied then we come to add conditional edge or else we can just do add edge only directly and then we are just compiling that workflow that's it and if you want we can print that this is how it looks and i have just asked the question what are the five pointers to make a human life happy that's it so it went through all these uh, nodes and it has generated this output that's it thank you so much for watching